Hey everybody, I'm Greg. I'm Felicia. I'm Raleigh. And we're the Welches, and we're missing Kara. She's somewhere probably watching a football game right now. But anyway, we recently took a trip to Cozumel in Key West. It was our first cruise. It was our 20th anniversary. And we, and we took Raleigh. Yeah, we took Raleigh too. And we found five things each that we want to share with you, and we'll do that right after this. Okay, so like I said, it was our 20th anniversary. We each said, found five things that we kind of want to share with you. We'll start with our number five thing. We'll make this kind of brief. I'll start with uh, Felicia. We'll let her go first. Felicia, what was your number five thing you found? My number five was how easy the uh, embarkation and the disembarkation was. Yeah, well, we have Faster to the Fun. So I highly recommend that if you can it at all purchase Faster to the Fun. It was our first trip. It made getting on the ship and getting off the ship, of course, we took our luggage off the ship with us. Mm -hmm. We went straight to our car, got in it, and left. It was very easy. Faster to the fun, A, number one. Riley, what was your number five? Getting away from reality. <laughs> reality. What do you have to get away from? <laughs> Schoolwork and yeah. social media. Yeah. Well, you, for you disconnecting from the phone, that yes. was get away from reality, wasn't it? Okay. Well, mine, it was that um, I could not believe that it took us so long to go on our first cruise. We've talked about it forever and ever, and we've been on almost any kind of vacation you could imagine, but we had never taken a cruise, and it was awesome. That was my number five. Felicia, what was your number four? Uh, the onboard activities. I was amazed that there was never nothing to do, and sometimes there was a little too much to do, but we had a lot of fun doing bingo and trivia. We got a little um, cruise ship thing back there from somebody winning. We won't talk about that. <laughs> a little trivia. And we won't even talk about the fact that there was only about four of us playing, but we still won. doesn't matter how many yeah. people played, but we still won. Rob, what was your number four? Mine was the teen clubs and the activities in the teen clubs. I get that. You, you stayed out pretty late a few nights. Mm. I had to go searching for you. <laughs> Which reminds me, hey, if you got a kid that's going, it was our first cruise. We got the, uh, the, the Hub app has the ability to purchase chat which works out well when you're trying to track down a 13-year-old kid in the middle of the evening looking for her. My number four was, I could not believe, uh, leading up to the cruise, um, we started watching all the vlogs from the cruising community, and we fell in love with, with everybody on YouTube. Um, I'm going to link to, link to a bunch of them in the comments section. Uh, we'll just name a few here that are our favorites. There's so many to choose from, but just to name a few, Sharon at Sea, um, the EECC uh, guys. Um, Para DJ. Para DJ. Um, Alyssa and Griff. Alyssa and Griff, Lolita Loka. There's so many to choose from, but these guys were invaluable in helping us get ready for our cruise. I highly recommend if it's your first cruise or even if you've been cruising for a long time, go check out those guys. They're amazing. Honey, what's your number three? My number three is the cruise director and the crew. By the end of the cruise, it was like they were part of the family. They were so much fun. Felipe was our cruise director on the Victory, and uh, we kind of saw a little bit too much of him. Um, not in the sense of that he was unwanted, uh, that he was around too much. It's just um, those shorts he had on his Richard, in his Richard Simmons outfit was a little too revealing. But no, we had a great time. The, the last night of the cruise, we did 80s trivia and sing along in the atrium, and it was amazing. It was a great time. Probably what was your number three? The different food options and unlimited food. You really like that. You never did get your... Um, Wait a minute. Unlimited food or unlimited ice cream? Both. You never did get your room service, though. I think you were a little no. bummed by that. But yeah. you got uh, you got as much ice cream and, and, and a bunch of guys' burgers. For somebody that doesn't like burgers, you ate yeah. a bunch of burgers, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, my number three was um, the fact that I tried, after watching a bunch of vlogs, and watching how to pack and what to pack, um, somehow or another, we still overpacked. Not we. Yeah. We overpacked. Don't let them fool you. We overpacked. They overpacked too. We over. We overpacked. Number two. Number two, uh, just the helpful vlogs and the videos that we watched prior. It helped, and when we got on the ship, where to go on the ship, um, things to do, things to see. It just um, was very helpful. What about your number two, right? Meeting new people and becoming friends with a lot of kids my age. Circle C? Thumbs up. Thumbs up on Circle C. My, 
<laughs> my number two was, um, and I'm going to stress this for you first time cruisers, especially um, going to uh, exotic locations, do not under any circumstances, why are you over laughing? Indulge. Do not overindulge at your ports of call. Um, it was our 20th anniversary and we, we, we had watched a, a vlog on EECC uh, on their, their channel about Al Chile's was a restaurant in Cozumel that we desperately wanted to try to find and go to and we sure enough found it um, when we got there and um, we'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Just do not overindulge. You may wind up missing a good portion of a day of your cruise. So don't overindulge. Indulge. Uh, number one? Number one, um, cruising can be addictive. Cruising can be very addictive. It's, you know, it's not for everybody, uh, but it should be for everybody. And we had a blast, um, in fact, so much that we've created this channel since we've got back and we want to start creating content. We've got, got an idea that we're, we're tossing around where we want to start interviewing a bunch of our friends that have been on Carnival and other cruise lines, sitting down with them, interviewing them, and trying to help newbies like us and maybe people that have been before that maybe have been on other cruise lines and just sitting down and finding out about when they dis or when they embarked and their disembarkation and, and their ports of call and just overall information. So if that's something you might be interested in, leave a comment, let us know. Um, and also uh, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and uh, just, uh, <laughs> why is that funny to you? You forgot me. I haven't forgot you. I'm saving the best for last. As you can see, we're not polished. At all. We are the furthest thing from Polly. Oh, I just messed it up. <laughs> oh. She didn't mess it up. See, I'm going to leave this in there just so that you know we're not polished. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, oh, click no, the I'm notification not. bell, and I'm going to leave number one for last. What was your number one, Ryan? Right? What was your number one, Ryan? Going to multiple places in one trip. Going it's like to, she's never been nowhere. Yeah, she, she, she had never been anywhere. We had never <laughs> taken her anywhere. And now she's been all over the world. She's a world traveler. Hey, guys, we've had a good time making this vlog. If you enjoyed it, like I said, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and if you've enjoyed it, share it with your friends. And uh, we've enjoyed being here with you. We'll see you next time on uh, the Surf City Travel Channel. And I'm Greg. This is Felicia. And Riley and Kara is somewhere else. She's at college. Yeah, she's at college. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.